Hello students of class 10. Today we are going to do uh, the last poem in your this book that is the snail. Now uh, the snail is by the poet, written by the poet William Cowper. Now before going on to the poem about uh, uh, the poet William Cowper, uh, he was a very popular and notable poet of his times. He gave a new direction to uh, poetry writing of the 18th century. Not only that, uh, he wrote about um, everyday life and about English countryside. Countryside as you know the village area. Uh, now uh, some of his notable works uh, are uh, Oli Hymns, The Task and another uh, work um, is another poetry a very famous poetry of his the uh, diverting history of john gilpin uh, so this was about the poet now about the um, poem the snail now uh, the snail when uh, we hear the name the first thing that appears uh, in our mind is you know the coiled shape uh, of the snail and you know the very slow pace of it but what we find in this poem is that the poet has very closely observed this snail and he has found that uh, now the snail is uh, not means for us it is a very insignificant creature but with a close observation the poet has found out that the snail is a very uh, self-sufficient um, and uh, you know a very um, secure kind of an uh, means uh, he has a very secure it has a um, very secure movement in that way okay now uh, I have written it in short uh, that what is all about the poem. The snail leads a very self-sufficient life. His movement is secure. Whenever he meets any danger, be it storm or any other attack besides weather, he immediately hides himself inside the shed. A snail is too sensitive and the slightest touch in his horns make it, uh, makes it curl inside, it, inside its house. The snail is annoyed at being disturbed. He lives all alone like a hermit with no belongings or chattels and is satisfied to be his own whole fashion. Now, let us go on to the poem. Now, uh, before that, it is uh, given that he give, gives us a picture of the private world of this thing. Now, let us go through the poem and see what uh, is a private world of the snake. To grass or leaf or fruit or wall, the snake sticks close nor fears to fall, as if he grew there. House and all together. Within that house, secure he hides. When danger imminent betides of storm or other harm, the sides of weather. Give his haunts the slightest touch. His self collecting power is such, he shrinks into his house with much displeasure. Wherever he dwells, he dwells alone, except himself has shuttles none, well satisfied to be his own whole treasure. Now let us go uh, one stanza at a time. What does he say? To grass or leaf or fruit or wool. So we have, means whenever you have seen a snail, you have seen that, you know, it, it sticks very closely to the ob object 
you know it is um, um, it is found wherever it is found okay so uh, what are the objects where it is found in a grass or leaf or fruit or bone the snail sticks close sticks close means it is you know it is you know it gets attached in such a way as though you know it can't be separated when we see a snail when we observe a snail we feel that it can't be separated so and that is why it is so securely attached that is the reason the the poet says nor fears to fall so it has no fear of falling off as if he grew there you know the snail sticks so close to the object and in such an inseparable way that it appears to the poet that as though the snail has grown up there okay house and all here house refers to the shell of the snail you know which um, you know with the poet thinks that it is it is the house of the snail so looking at this snail when it sticks to any object it sticks so uh, closely that the uh, poet feels that it has grown up over there itself house and all together within that house again that shell is being referred to as the house of the snail within that house secure he hides when in, when danger imminent betide secure he hides that is just as we uh, you know uh, live in a house for shelter for our safety and security in the same way the snail also carries its house along with it and whenever he uh, you know feels that there is some kind of a danger it hides inside the shell when danger imminent betides imminent means impending danger impending means something that is uh, very likely to happen something that is likely to happen very soon imminent danger betides betides means comes okay uh, of storm or other harm besides of weather so whenever there is some whenever it smells some impending danger the snail immediately uh, hides inside its shell of storm and other harm it could be the danger could be storm or any you know aspects of weather or anything other than weather also you know that also can be the danger of the snail give his horns now if you have seen a snail you have seen the you know the both the antennae of the snail okay so when it moves okay um, it you can see that but if you now we think that the snail is uh, kind of insensible okay um but it is very over sensitive that is what you know the uh, poet has found out through his observation give his horns that is he's talking of those antennae the slightest touch even if it is you know if it is given the slightest touch his self collecting power is such self collecting power means the that is you know the sensitivity okay of the snail is such that it immediately shrinks inside that is it goes inside into his house with much displeasure that is the snail gets very annoyed whenever it is disturbed okay thank you students we stop here today